Welcome back guys. This is another five minute Miami video. Miami news covered in five minutes or less. What we're highlighting today is the recruiting news. There's a couple of big targets that we're going after. We're going after them hard. There's some guys that you should get pretty excited. February National Sign Day is coming up very soon and Manny Diaz needs to get his whole staff together and get those last targets that are available out there for this 19th season. So I'm just going to say thank you guys for the support and jump right into it. So let's go. First things first, this guy right here. We have been pursuing a guy called Plumley. All right, now John Rice Plumley though is a Georgia commit, but Georgia said we're gonna blue shirt you, so you won't. That means he doesn't play his first year. I don't know how that will work out uh, for him. That's why he's turning around, looking at other schools. He said he's gonna go to Miami. He didn't. Next guy up though is we're pushing and pursuing real hard is Lance. I'm probably gonna mispronounce this. Legendre, le, le, legendary. I want to call him legendary. It's almost that, not quite very close. He's a four star currently. He's Florida State warm, but Miami's pu pushing after him real hard. As you see right here, Dan Eno is trying to get this boy. He is from actually New Orleans, which is interesting. Um, he's not in the Dade County, Miami area, not even Florida, but as you see, Florida State went out after him. He's a dual threat quarterback. He's in the sixth dual threat quarterback. So he's basically the best available non uh, full committed player yet that's at the QB position. So we got to take Martell. We do have plenty of other talent, Nikosi Pair and such, but we're still going out there and trying to stockpile up the most that we can. And as you see, even Alabama was up here and uh, they were interested in him. So we're going after some pretty top guys. Now, I'm going to go away from the quarterback's position. It's been all the talk. We need to look at the other sides of the ball. It's very important. This guy is a very interesting one that we're pushing for. Christian Williams, he's actually visiting the U this coming week. He's currently an Alabama commit. I love this. Are y'all seeing a pattern here? Alabama commits that Miami's pushing after. If Alabama's going for this guy, don't y'all think that uh, we want him on our team? Yeah, they're very solid players. I'm not going to go in depth into the film because that'll take a little bit more than five minutes. But this is a solid dude for almost five star cornerback, I believe, is his position. Yes, it is. He's six foot one. He's from Alabama, but there's a chance Mike Rump is pulling, pushing after him. We might be able to get him. He's uh, put up some interesting stuff. It could can you tell that he goes to Miami? Maybe not. He is pretty committed to Alabama, but he's visiting us, so that's all that matters. Next guy up. This one I love. Miami now is at 88% crystal ball prediction for it. Now, these don't mean really anything. He's almost a five. I mean, he is a, four, a solid four star. He is in Alabama. He's committed, but he's not like officially committed. He hasn't signed the dotted line to my knowledge. So yeah, Manny Diaz, my boy, is going after him. And there's a really good chance we're gonna get him. The reason we think so, the reason we think so, is he's kind of indicated some stuff on social media, I believe. And there's just, we need that guy, that position. And haven't you looked at our defensive ends and how they've been going in NFL? Yeah, he's gonna be doing real well for his NFL draft star if he comes in. So we'll see. He's really close to committing to Miami, but he is an Alabama commit. It's gonna be hard to pull him away. Not gonna lie, guys. All these Alabama guys are gonna be hard to pull away. We'll see, we'll see though. It's very interesting stuff. Last guy, but not least, Trevon Hill. He's from Virginia Tech. And he got, he was a three-star back in the day, um, almost kind of a four-star. He's also a defensive end, but he's got experience. And this guy was a beast, a beast in college. Fortunately, against us too, he gave us quite some problems. I'm just going to show you a couple of clips. He says Miami, like, all over him. He is the play of Manny Diaz. Check this out. I mean, you just, you got to check this out here. Boom, done. Right after him, attacking Fierce. I know it's Delaware, I know. Let's just fast forward a little bit. This is against Clemson. Boom, swarming him. Is this not our replacement at defensive end that we're missing? Is it not? I would love to see this guy go and play in the U uniform. He says Manny B is all over him. I'm. I would love to see him come. There's even better stuff, guys. There's even better stuff. Look at this right here, though. Going, pursuing, pushing, boom, picks it up. Give him a chain. Give him a chain. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> he knows he wants to be at the U. He knows it. Twitter. Check it out. Chain. Chain. That's right. And my boys at King's Cartel, I, I don't know who's uh, retweeting y'all here, but that's a pretty legit savage retweet of subtweet on there replying here. He's looking at the U. He's interested. There's a chance we'll get him. So that's what's going on, guys. That's basically a summary of Miami and all the news that's upcoming. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys want to see come to the U? Who do you think is going to be transferring over to us? Drop it down in the comments below. Be sure if you enjoyed this video to smash that like button, share it, and subscribe if you haven't. And at the end of the day, we still know it's always all about the youth.